today is the last day of school and I am very thankful because I've been feeling burnt out this year. Before I left this morning, I was watching a vlog from another teacher, and he teaches in Philadelphia. His name's Mr. Reynolds, and it was him talking about teacher burnout and how to avoid it. And he showed a little uh, humorous clip of him coming home from school each day. Instead of coming home with lots of energy, he just plopped on the floor. He collapsed because he was so tired from the school day. And that's pretty much how I've been feeling lately. Well, the, the majority of this school year is when I get home, I'm just completely wiped out, exhausted. And, um, and I think that's mainly because of two reasons. The first reason is that I've had a pretty tough class this year. They just have a lot of energy and they're very talkative and chatty. Very chatty. Very, 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 very chatty. I feel like I have improved a lot over the year. I've learned a lot and uh, done my best. One specific strategy that I learned that worked well with my students this year was a call and response. And so what I did is I counted down from five, five, four, three, two, one, and then I would say, attention. And then the students would respond by saying, yes, sir. And that worked really well because that was one nice loud exclamation right before they had to be silent. And so I, it was much easier for me to catch the students who were not being silent and then give them a consequence. So I think it was really great that this year I had this chatty class because it really helped me improve as a teacher who needed to know what to do in order to get those better expectations from them when they have a harder time. It's kind of like you have to go through some pain in order to grow, right? I, I had a difficult time, but I'll be much more prepared next time when I have a chatty class. I will have these strategies in my tool belt ready for the next time as I gain more experience. The second reason that I feel like I'm burning out this year is because um, I haven't done enough self-care. And that's something that Mr. Reynolds also mentioned in his video. And I think the reason that self-care is so important, especially this year, is because of the fact that my students this year have been so exhausting because I've had to put a lot of energy into making sure that I do a better job. I'm going to be devoting a lot more time to family next year as I am dropping a few extracurricular activities. I don't know, I think I have a really hard time dreaming about what I wish my class would look like and then becoming very disappointed when it doesn't turn out the way that I wanted. And I know every teacher deals with that, but I'm realizing this year that there are some strategies that I can do in order to make myself a bit better teacher. And it does not involve working more hours because I tried that already my first few years. I worked from five in the morning to dinner time. Now that I have three kids at home and I'm getting older, I'm realizing that's not possible if I want to be a good husband and a present father. So like I mentioned before, it is the last day of school and the last day of school is awesome at my school. We have a half day in the morning we wrap up with whatever we want to do in the classroom, and then we have an assembly, a whole school assembly, and it's been tradition the last few years to show our fifth grade music video, which I just uploaded to YouTube um, a couple weeks ago. The kids always get excited to show that to the whole school. Good morning. And then when school gets out at 11.30, we have this awesome whole family barbecue with a water gun fight, and 
Everybody gets their squirt guns, water balloons, uh, super soakers. They just go all at each other on the field. It's a lot of fun because it's a fun way to let out all the energy that the students have at the end of the year. Unfortunately though, I'm not even going to be able to go to the picnic and water gun fight. I'm, I'm leaving right after school it gets out because I have to run over to my son's school because he's graduating from kindergarten. It's been a, a long year in kindergarten for him. <laughs> a lot of rough mornings, my wife has, has told me. Well, here's my classroom. Yesterday we cleaned off all the tables. Well, mostly. The thing that I'm most excited about at school today is what I do at the end of every year is the Riedel Memmi Award. And, you know, it's kind of like the Emmys, except this is Golden Globe where I put my head instead of the Golden Globe. The Memmi Awards is uh, Mr. Riedel's favorite memory or Memmi of you. So what I do is I keep track throughout the year of different um, fun things that have happened or meaningful things that have happened with my students that I remember that was something that was thoughtful to me and it's kind of more of a goodbye for me than it is for them. Some of these memories might be kind of like weird for them. Like, oh wow, yeah, I saw you being nice to that kid that one day uh, five months ago when uh, that meant a lot to me, but maybe they might think it's kind of weird like that I remembered that, but I don't really care because the kids still have a fun time listening to the things that I saw in them. It's a good time. I gotta get ready for the day. And this is what my classroom looks like at the end of the last day of school, and I don't even care. It's not too bad. And this is what I look forward to every year. I love seeing them decorate the whiteboard. All their enthusiasm and excitement about summer gets put all into one place, and it's just awesome to see. And I'm just as excited as they are. <laughs> to be a great day for the water fight. The sun came out, and it's warm out, and it's beautiful. Great last day of school. Huge weight lifted off of the shoulders of the teachers. And now I'm headed to Nolan's kindergarten graduation, which is on the other side of town. Hi. 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 
Hi, Mom. Hi, Hey. Go. <laughs> Yeah, she's kind of out. Are they shirts? Yeah. Yeah, this is the tie-dye shirts they made. Uh, From on High five. Fist bump. And then thumb it. <laughs> Well, I have one more big event on the last day of school. The 8th grade graduation ceremony is on the evening of the last day of school. We are a K-8 school, so my 5th graders move on to 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. This 8th grade class will be the second class that I had. So it wasn't my first group of 5th graders, but it was my second group of 5th graders. This was a great group. I remember them fondly. I am very excited to see them graduate and move on to high school. Why, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, it was just nine short years ago, I shook hands with them on a kindergarten stage, what an accomplishment.